proportion, a way of thinking. This lesson is brought to you by Beirut Academy. Proportionality is a lot more than a technique. It is a way of thinking. Every mathematical activity hides somewhere a case of proportion. In fact, we can title the mathematics program of the ninth year as proportionality. Because one will refer back to it all that year long. As it is with Thales' property, similar triangles, etc. In this chapter we will review everything we have seen related to this subject. And we are going to add how to represent a case of proportion in a system of axes. At the beginning of this chapter, I will be able to recognize two proportional sequences, calculate the fourth term of a proportion, use the calculation of the fourth term of a proportion in problems. At the end of this chapter, I will be able to represent a linear situation using a proportion table or chart, represent a linear situation in an expression of the form y equals kx, represent graphically a linear situation, pass from one representation to another. The gear wheel. The adjacent figure represents an assembly of two gears. Each movement of one of the two gears makes the other gear move. Let X designate the number of turns of the smaller gear. And Y these of the large one. Complete the following table. And then deduce a relation between Y and X. We already know the relation between any proportion is Y equals KX. To deduce the relation between Y and X which represents the ratio k. We should either measure the diameter of each of the gears or simply count the number of teeth of each of them, then divide the number of the smaller gear on the larger one. Hence, the smaller gear's teeth is equals to 18 and the larger one is equal to 36. So we deduce the relation or the ratio k equals 18 over 36 equals half. Now we use the relation function to get the missing numbers in the table as follows. y equals half times 2 equals 1. y equals 8. Then 8 equals half times x, so x equals 16. y equals half times 20 equals 10. y equals 12.5. Then 12.5 equals half times x, so x equals 25. A tree can hide another. In a square field, trees are arranged regularly as shown in the figure. An observer stood in the southwest corner. Looking at the trees, he noticed that some were visible while others were hidden by other trees. Point out the visible trees and the hidden ones. Proportion and tables. In each of the following tables, we can obtain the second line by multiplying the first line by a constant. The first table represents a relation between time and distance with a constant speed equals 1.5. The second table represents a relation between quantity and price with a constant ratio of a unit price equals 1200. The third table represents a relation between price and discount with a constant ratio or a rate of discount equals 0 0.3. As a conclusion, a proportion table represents two sequences of numbers. The value of each number in one set is obtained by multiplying its corresponding number in the other set by a constant. This constant is known as the rate of the proportion. proportion and algebraic relation. We can sum up the three preceding table as follows. Applying the relation d equals 1.5t, we can easily calculate the value of d for every corresponding value of t, and conversely, since t equals d divided by 1.5 equals d equals 1 over 1.5. Two proportional quantities x and y satisfy a relation of the form y equals kx, where k designates the rate of the proportion.
proportion and graphic representation. Consider the relation d equals 1.5t. Given some particular values of t, we can calculate the corresponding values of d. In a system of axes t ot and dot, locate the points of the following coordinates. The points whose coordinates are proportional belong to the same line. We can show that every point of coordinates of this line satisfies the relation d equals 1.5t belongs to this line. Each of the two preceding situations can be presented in a system of axes as straight line passing through the origin of coordinates. In general, we can represent a proportional relation of the form y equals kx in a system of axes by a line passing through the points 0 and a. The relation y equals kx is called a linear function. Two quantities y and x are called proportional if the ratio of the value of y to its corresponding value of x is constant. For example, y designates the distance traveled at a constant speed and x designates the time needed. The ratio y over x, then, designates the speed, y designates the total price of a quantity and x designates the amount of this quantity. The ratio y over x then designates the unit price. We can represent a proportional relation in three ways. Table or chart representation, algebraic representation, graphic representation. Table or chart representation. Algebraic representation. The preceding table permits us to establish a general relation between y and x. y equals 1.5x. This relation permits us to calculate whichever value of y, knowing x, or to calculate whichever value of x, knowing y. Graphic representation. The relation y equals 1.5x may be represented in a system by the points whose coordinates satisfy this relation. These points belong to a line passing through the origin of coordinates. Since y equals 1.5x, we have for x equals 1, y equals 1.5 and consequently this line is defined by these two points 0, a. Therefore, Every relation of the form y equals kx is represented by a line passing through the following points 0, a, k being the rate of the proportion. The graph permits us to respond visually to every question of the form. What is y if x equals b? Or what is x if y equals c? End of lesson. Kindly subscribe and invite your friends. Exercises and problems to solve should be followed soon.